All right, all right, what is going on everyone out there on YouTube? It's Brando Linick here coming to you from my home. And um, in this video, we're talking about internet-based business. So if you guys are looking into this by any chance, um, I'm gonna break down some principles that I've taken from people on Amazon, on eBay, on Craigslist, on different marketplaces, different platforms, different systems who've made consistent incomes and really what the focal point of building a business online really revolves around, um, which is getting people to your stuff. I mean, a lot of people, they'll try and sell. For this example, I want to use uh, on Amazon, all right? And if you're looking to start a business to quit your job, create an extra income, supplement your income on the internet, you're wanting to build a business online so you can you know, have more flexibility and time freedom. It doesn't matter if it's on Amazon or not, but we're going to use Amazon in this example. The products and services you're offering, I don't care if you do drop shipping, you don't you can do wholesaling where you're going and partnering up with manufacturers, you can do that, but if you don't know how to get people to your stuff and you're just kind of going out there aimlessly, you know, posting things over and over again, reposting products and services, trying to buy low and sell high, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? People do actually make money and you will make money doing that um, if you're very consistent and persistent at it, all right? It's just proven. If you're consistent at just, you know, reposting different products and services, you're gonna make a couple hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand dollars, but if you wanna build a long-term steady income and in business on the internet, while having a life, without having to be on the computer all day long, learning to get people to your stuff, driving traffic, capturing leads, is the best thing you could learn how to do, all right? And a lot of people, if you look at traditional business, it's the same principles that apply. Most people in traditional business, they have a storefront location where they're offering products and services, right? And what they'll do is they'll do billboard advertising, TV advertising, commercial advertising, radio, to get people more so into their store. Now, on the internet, it's a little bit different. If you're looking at Amazon, you can just continuously post things, but if you're posting things and nobody's coming to your stuff or it's on the fifth page, then I would encourage you separate yourself above the competition, have your own website, have something that you can control, the traffic and the website and everything, pardon me, um, and then you can post your Amazon products on your website, and when people click the products from your website, your blog, where you're posting it, they can be redirected to Amazon's checkout page, all right? But your blog, your own website, is something you control. It's like having your own storefront. It's your own piece of real estate out there on the internet, and without it, you know, you're, you're reliant on other people's stuff. You're reliant on other people's systems and services. So I hope that makes sense. Your own piece of real estate, your own blog, where people can communicate, get to know you more, see the products and services that you're offering. It really just elevates yourself a little bit higher, but not just that. You can target people and create, create your own content around um, that target market who are looking for specifically what you have to offer. You can write a story or a paragraph or tips and tricks on how to use or how to you know go about using this product and service that you're, you're trying to sell. Okay, does that make sense? And you can do drop shipping, you can do buying low and selling high. It doesn't matter. You can place those products and services on your site and then you can redirect people from your site to Amazon if they want to buy it, all right? So I hope that makes sense. Um, ultimately, the cool thing about having your own website, I'm not saying this is the only way to go, this is just an idea, is you can drive traffic to your site and people will begin to come back to your site over and over again. Rather than going to Amazon, there's a million different things trying to get their attention, deals over here and deals over there. When you have your own site, you control what a person focuses on, all right? You control all the content on that site, so it's really powerful, but you need to learn to market yourself and drive traffic, get leads and sales, get people coming to your stuff people who are looking to uh, you know buy what you have to offer and the only way to do that my friend is getting traffic but getting people who are looking for what you have to offer through marketing all right it really comes down to marketing if you want to build a business and sell on Amazon on eBay on your own blog all right you need to learn to market yourself if you don't know how to do that it's gonna be a real big struggle for you out there on the internet and just to give you an example you can do this both paid advertising, which is the fastest, so placing ads up about your product and service, doing story ads um, through Facebook, PPC, Instagram, Twitter, you know, there's a lot of them out there, YouTube, um, and you can also do free methods of marketing where you're posting content and you're curating the content and uh, you're engaging with people through social groups and chat groups on Facebook and Instagram, all right, just communicating with people. So there's different ways to go about this, but it was not until I learned how to actually attract people to the business that I was offering, all right, this is going back two years ago, that after struggling on the internet, working a 40 to 50 hour week job at the same time, trying to figure things out online to build a business, that when I came across an individual who was making a ridiculous amount of money on the internet, all right, when they're doing this, I began to model and copy them. And it took me three months from that point to create a full-time income business, working it part-time, all right, haven't looked back since then. And I would highly encourage you, out of anything you get in this video, go connect with someone, find someone, do a little bit of research, 
find someone who's building a business online, model and copy what they're doing, regardless of if it's with Amazon or not, so you can learn how to get people to your stuff, so it doesn't matter the product and service you're offering, you can brand yourself as a leader and you can promote anything and build a massive income and business. So I hope this is a breakthrough for you. I hope you got value out of this video. If you have any questions, questions or comments or additional tips you want to give in this video, comment down below. Don't spam, but comment. And I look forward to hearing you guys' insight. That said, though, if you'd like to learn more information on tactics and trainings for building a business and income through the internet, if you're coachable and trainable, you're open-minded, connect with me on my site. It's 123marketingtips.com. The link will be down below, and I will see you guys on the beach of the world. Take care.